In FeatureCam 2013 R3, Five Axis programming has been made even easier by allowing any setup coordinate system to be specified as the initial orientation of the part on the machine. Being able to set this initial orientation is important because when a part is imported, the initial orientation of the first setup might not be aligned with the stock axis. Although the user can change the origin by selecting a setup under the use origin of this setup as touch off point, this only affects the origin and doesn't actually change the initial orientation. The workaround then is to rotate the part and move it around until it becomes orientated correctly, but this becomes quite difficult after features have already been programmed. This new enhancement is intended to change all of this. So in this example, you can see we've got pump housing part and it's already mounted on a fixture and we've got a series of features that have already been pre-created. If I go into the part view here you can see all of my features in a series of different setups around the part. So I'm going to run a centerline simulation and you can see I've got a simulation of all my positions around the part and all my features like so. So the initial centerline simulation looks OK but clearly we can see the orientation of this fixture uh, what I'm looking to do is to machine this setup on the side of the part but at the moment if I look down the top view or look to one of the side views you can see the orientation looks incorrect. We can verify this in two ways first way would be to do a machine simulation. If I just do a single step on the machine simulation, zoom out and rotate the machine, and clearly you can see the orientation of the fixture is not on the table as I would have expected or wanted. Likewise, if I look at the results area and look at the NC code, in this case I'm expecting a rotation, but looking at this plain spatial output there is no rotation in either A, B or C. So we need to rectify this and we can use the new option under the indexing tab. So let's go into our stock, into the indexing tab and under the fifth axis positioning we can click on fixture location. Here we can choose what we're going to reference and in this case we're going to use the origin of this setup as the touch off point and I'm going to change to a different setup. In this case I've got setup number 5 has already pre been pre-created at the top of the component. So I'm going to go back into my stock dialog into the indexing fixture location and I'm going to choose setup 5 as my uh, touch off point and then I'm going to check this box here. Now at the moment it says the stock axis is used as your initial part orientation on the machine tool. Now if I go ahead and accept that and just go view show stock axis you can see the orientation of the stock axis so the z-axis is pointing out of the part. I also want to use this setup for my initial orientation as well and not the stock axis. So I can overwrite this, let's just hide that stock axis, back into my indexing and I'm going to check the option to use this setup as the part's initial orientation. Once I check this, the information regarding the stock axis disappears. Say OK and apply. Restart my simulation this time again on the machine tool. rotate the view around and now we can see the part looks orientated correctly on the machine. We can run through the 3D simulation and there's our part like so. Likewise I can go to the results area, recheck the NC code and you can now see I've got a rotation around our A-axis for that first setup. 